Hey guys, what is up? Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing my natural versus fleeky Instagram brow routine, I guess you could call it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing natural brows on one side and more like fleeky Anastasia Beverly Hills repost kind of brows on the other side. Everybody said they wanted to see a routine of how I do each one. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will put my um my little username right here. Yeah, let's get on into it. Okay, so I guess we should actually start off by like removing the brows I already have on, so that's just what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I don't mess up the makeup I already have on. Um, I would have done this before, but we had stuff to do this morning, so it wasn't really an option to like just not wear brows out. There's one right there. I have some sparse little areas right there in the middle. Okay, you guys, so this, <laughs> these are my real life brows. So this one's not bad. I don't hate on it too much. Um, this one is terrible in my opinion. I cannot stand this eyebrow. Like I'm missing a big chunk right here. Okay, so starting off, the big secret to perfect brows. I no longer use like a brow whiz or anything like that, but I always, always have went back to powders. Powders are the easiest thing, you guys. To me, powders are the easiest thing. I love using powders. So this is actually, oddly enough, my favorite brow, um, my favorite brow brush, and it's actually the Milani um, brow brush that comes with their little pomade stuff. So that's the only way you can get this, but it is my favorite of all the brushes I've tried, and it's super cheap, even if you buy the pomade stuff, which I don't really like that much, but this brow brush is fire. So this is literally all I use. I use um, Noir from the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler palette. Um, you can use any black shadow that you want. You can even use a brow product if you want. That's like black or whatever color matches your personal hairs. I use black, my hair is black, and it doesn't come off that crazy. So this is gonna be the natural brow. Or wait, no. No, I'm gonna do this on fleeky so that you can see like a huge transformation. This one's gonna be the natural brow. So let's get it popping. For the natural brow, you're just gonna get like the least amount of product. Um, tap just a little bit on your brushy brush and just start to move with the strokes of the hairs. Filling in any sparse areas to make it look naturally full. And I like to extend my tail just a little bit. And then the front, do the same thing. Just move with the strokes of the hairs. See how I'm using black where it doesn't even look dark? It's just kind of adding some color to the brows just a little bit. Okay. You don't want to get too out of hand because like I said, these are the natural brows, so that's pr pretty much all we're going to use. Secondly, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. This is my holy grail, you guys. I can't do any brows without this stuff. It's fantastic. And you're literally going to set your brows up to look like a werewolf, which is like my favorite thing for the brows. You just want to stroke the hairs upward and outward. And these are the kind of brows I do on a daily basis.
natural, you can see all the little hairs. So moving on to the Instagram brows or the fleeky brows and this one is a hot mess. This one's nice, hot mess. Without having to use very many products at all, look at how big of a difference that is. From this to this, like that's insane. And this is just a natural looking hairy eyebrow. So moving on to the second one, main difference in the fleeky sides, we're gonna use a lot more shadow on our brush. I focus a lot more on the end of the brow, not as much on the front. See how much darker that is in this? And then we can start kind of tapering it in a little bit. This is one of the reasons why it's best um, to do your brows before your eye makeup because now I'm gonna have to mess my eye makeup up with concealer. And this is just the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, nothing too crazy. I like using a concealer that's a little bit more watery when I do this rather than super thick because if it's too thick, it's just gonna cake up the hairs under your brows. And you want the tail of your brow to be able to cut your enemies. So um, make sure you use a good amount of concealer down there to make it really sharp. You want it to be able to cut their throat. So yeah. And no matter what kind of brows I'm doing, I have to use my brow gel. 100%. But the difference here is instead of like brushing all the hairs up to look really natural, we're going to be like slicking them down. So yeah, up and then down like that. Dried out tears of sorrow, lacking all emotion. That concealer is a little bit light, but that's how they do it, right? I'm seeing those Anastasia Beverly Hills reposts on Instagram, that's how they be doing it. Natural. Fleeky. Natural. Fleeky. 
So go ahead and comment down below. I would love to hear your guys' preference. Do you love natural or fleeky? Natural or fleeky? Take a shot every time I say natural or fleeky. I feel like I keep reusing those same words over and over again. But yes. All right then. Um, can you see Kenzie's eye? Excuse me. Yeah, guys, that is it. I probably look like a crazy person right now. Um, but I will see you guys next time. Bye. This is one of... This is one of the reasons why it's... I'm literally gonna kill this dog that's outside right now.